You can give my input, my input. Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutala Srimate Gaur Govinda Swami Tanamane Namam Vishnu Padaya Radhika Yoi Priyatmane Shri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayani Tanamane So, as Vrindavan Das Prabhu has very nicely spoken, explaining how fortunate we are to be able to have the association of such an extraordinary, merciful Vaishnava as Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayana Maharaj. Especially in such a um, far place as Hawaii. Of course, here, um, the beach, it reminds us of Jagannathpuri and um, very tropical, very nice and very conducive in one sense for spiritual life. But to really be able to engage in spiritual life, then it's stated in Chaitanya Charitamrita that five things are most important. Sadhu Sangha, Nam Ketan, Bhagavad Shravan, Maturavas and Sri Matura Shraddha Sevana. And of these five, one is most important. Mm? And this is Sadhu Sangha. Because by Sadhu Sangha, then we're able to engage in Nam Sankirtan. It is, some, it is said also that Nam Sankirtan, that this is the most important limb. But without Sadhu Sangha, then there's no Nam Sankirtan. We will not be able to chant real n name. Stated that one who does not do Sadhu Sangha, then the name that they will be chanting will just be like alphabets coming from the dictionary or just mere syllables. Nam Sanctum. Then Bhagavad Shravan, to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam. 
Mm? This is also the most important limb of Bhakti. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, I believe it was Sri Dhammada, he said, Yahu Bhagavad Vaishnaveristane, Ekanta Shokoro Chaitanya Charane. That if we want to hear Srimad Bhagavatam, then we have to go to a person Bhagavad. One who is a living representative of the Srimad Bhagavatam. And then we hear Bhagavad from. So even to hear the Holy Scriptures, then we need Sadhu Sangha. Nam Sankitan, Bhagavad Mutiravas, to reside in the holy place. But it is stated, Krishna say Tama, Krishna Ditepa, Tama Sakatiache, Amito Kangala, Krishna Krishna Boli, Dai Tava Pache Pache. That within the heart of the sadhu, that Krishna is always there, residing very peacefully um, within his heart. Because his heart is so neat and so clean. So when such sadhus, they're doing, they're giving such mercy, because they're leaving the holy dam, Vrindavan. Just as Srila Bhakti Jantan Rai Maharaj, he's leaving Vrindavan. And he's traveling to um, Australia, Bali, Malaysia, Singapore, Europe, America, now Hawaii, Fiji, in the future we hope also Africa. He's traveled all over the world. What for? To give us Krishna. Because Krishna is there within his heart and is coming in our disciplic succession. We have very special disciplic succession coming from Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Huh? We have Bhakti Vinod Dara coming that line of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And more specifically coming from Srila Bhakti Siddhanta. We are all one family. Hmm? And what is the speciality that these Rupa Nuga Vaishnavas, personally I do not really know what is Rupa Nuga Vaishnava, but I am hearing something and getting some little understanding. But these Rupa Nuga Vaishnavas, that they are coming and um, they are giving up their precious time of bhajan and they are coming to give us that Krishna consciousness. Mm. So rare it is. To first to come in contact with a Vaishnava is so rare. And then to come in contact with a pure, a pure Vaishnava in the line of Rupa Goswami, so, so rare. And then what more, we don't have to go to Vrindavan, but they are coming all over the world. Mm. In the third canto stated, Janasa Krishna Vimukasa Daivat Adama Silasya Suduki Tasya. Adama Anugra Yahir Chalanti Dunam Janani Bhutani Bhavani Janadana Sya. That such Vaishnavas to those who have forgotten Krishna, maybe for a long period of time or short period of time. And it's the nature of the conditioned soul that we will always be somewhat forgetful of Krishna. So Janasa Krishna Vimukasa Daivat, who are Vimukha, who have turned away. Mm? And what do they do? They show their mercy by coming and giving us this Harikata, mm? this Sadhu Sangha. And what is the purpose of the Sadhu Sangha? That we can serve our Guru Pampara. Mm? That we can serve our Guru Pampara, not just externally, but most importantly, that we can serve internally. Mm? The instructions that Raghunath Das Goswami he received from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm? Um, what was the second one? Amani Manadahana, Sada Krishna Nam Labe, Bhajay Radha Krishna Seva, Manasi Karibe. That always Amani Manada, that we should not expect any respect from others and we should give all respects to others. And in that mood, um, then Krishna, Krishna Nam, Sada Krishna Nam Labe, we should always take Krishna Nam. Mm. So, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj is coming to give us that injection. When we're away from sadhus, then we, because especially Hawaii on one hand is very conducive for spiritual life, but on the other hand, uh, it's very inconducive for spiritual life because it is, it is booming with sense gratification. It is a f um, the, the real fort of sense gratification. So in this situation, without sadhu sangha, we cannot actually do any bhajan. We cannot do spiritual life. It is not possible. So out of their great mercy, they come. And even though they have to undergo so many insults, so many apparats, but still they don't mind. Uh, just tirelessly, very mercifully, they come. So we're very fortunate in this situation. And we should make this our dharma, our religion, that wherever there's bona fide sadhu, specifically who's coming in our line, coming from Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, we should run there and take that sangha. Uh, we should run, not walk, not go, but we should run. Um, that should be our dharma. And by this, then we can be strong. And we can have some perception and proper perspective on what um, Rupa Goswami he has come to give, mm. which is this Unoto Jwala Rasa Swa Bhakti Sriyam, this um, 
de Sriam, the Sri, not to draw about the Batis Sriam, the the mood of Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari, Manjari, um, Kasturi Manjari, the mood of of these very intimate associates. Yes, not Unoto Jwala, Unoto Jwala Ras, which is um, that which is held by by Shimati Radhika, speci specifically Shimati Radhika. Uh, why she's called Madanakya Mahabhava Mai. But the beauty of um, that love, of that um, Shingaras, this is um, the love of the Mandris. So, this ultimately we have to come to that point. But we see that though Maharaj he is internally absorbed in this. I cannot see, but I have that faith. But we see that in his preaching, that according to his audience, he comes and he sacrifices his um, meditation to come and preach to us according to our adhikar, according to our position. Mm. This is the great mercy. So, I need not speak anymore, but only to say that to do this sadhu sangha, then we can get much benefit by giving our hearts. Because ultimately, when we ha associate with people in the material world, Prabhupada will say this world is the world of the cheaters and the cheated. But actually there's one place where we can give our heart and we'll never ever be let down. And that is the, at the lotus feet or giving our heart to a sadhu. And the sadhu, he will take the heart, he'll make it very nice and clean to offer it to the lotus feet of Goranga Mahaprabhu and Shishi Radha Krishna. So we're very fortunate to have come here. And May we always be fortunate to have Sadhu Sangha. Srila Bhakti Dhanta Narayan Maharaj Ki. We know that America, England, France, Germany, Canada, China, Japan are more rich country than India. Their um, medical science, there are all kinds of science. They have developed so much than India. But why Swamiji came here? They are so rich. They are, they are so much developed in all worldly things. Their houses are so like Raj Palace. They can denote anything, any money to India and all world. But why Swamiji came a beggar here? What to give? Did he come to take something from the, all these countries? I think never. So why is he Swamiji? <laughs> So, <coughs> what is that thing? And why in all countries very intelligent persons that took the feet dust of Swamiji? So what is that thing? Prem Prajan Prabhu will you speak something about this?
Sri In Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya Mat, even stated, Krishna Bhuli Sai Jeev Anadir Bahimuka Atayava Maya Tari Dhiya Sangsara Adi Dukha That all the Jeevas in this material world they have forgotten Krishna and on account of their forgetfulness of Krishna they are suffering so much in the cycle of repeated birth and death. So Swami Maharaj, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada he came here to uh, Hawaii, to America and all western countries just to teach us how to remember Krishna Always we're remembering something. Mainly we're remembering our body, our mind, our families, and so many things. Because we have attachment for them. Fine. Krishna says, I appear to establish religion, to protect the sadhus, and to destroy the miscreants. I appear millennium after millennium. So this was Krishna's, ex this is a reason for appearing. But this was not his main reason. This was the external reason for Krishna's appearing. His internal reason, what is that? Premarasa nidasa karite asya dana raga marga bhakti loke karite pacharana Krishna has stated in Chaitanya Chaitamita Why have I appeared? I have appeared to taste the very essence of Premaras, of Madhurya Ras and I have also appeared to propagate within this world Raga Marg Bhakti that means the rendering of devotional service in the mood of spontaneous love why? Aishwarya Gyanate Sabha Jagata Misita Aishwarya Shitila Prema Nahi Mora Prita everyone in this whole world they're worshipping me according to the regulative principles of the, of the scripture Oh, Krishna is God, He is supreme, He is the controller, He is not my maintainer. I have to serve Him. If I don't serve Him and love Him, then I'll, I'll have to be punished for neglect of duty. So out of the uh, fear and without deep attachment, people are serving the, the Lord according to regulative principles. But Krishna says, that devotion which is made feeble, which is made weak and shrunken by knowledge of my opulence, oh, I am so great. That love, it does not satisfy me. What kind of love satisfies Krishna? Hmm? When Subha, Sridham, Madhumanga, Arjun Labanga, Stoka Krishna, many coward boys, they climb on Krishna's shoulders and say, Oh, what kind of big man are you? You and I are equal. I'm fighting with him. Hmm? When his mother sometimes is twisting his ear and giving him a slap, you naughty boy, Oh my, oh my, I want to sit in your lap, I want to suck your breast. No, no, no. I gave you bath and made you so neat and clean, and now only after five minutes you're all dirty again. Don't come near me, you dirty boy. And he's crying and crying. Uh, this type of love, this actually captures Krishna's heart and satisfies him. Hmm? And when his beloved uh, gopis, they call him a cheater, hmm? and a liar, and a thief, Hmm? When Krishna hears these words, then it steals his mind away from the reverent hymns of the Vedas. He is not interested in the Vedic hymns. Hmm? This is the type of love that Krishna wants. So, Swami Maharaj, being very, very intimate associates of Sisi Radha and Krishna, and wanting to please them and satisfy them so much, he has come to this world, and he is distributing Nam Sankirtan. Hmm? But there is a speciality in this Nam Sankirtan. 
ओई ज्वारे आचंदले कितनो संचारी नाम प्रेम मलगंती पयाईला संसारे Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has brought the chanting of the holy name to this world. But this is Prema Nama Prema Mala. It is like a garland. If you see a garland of flowers, then there are so many flowers there. That is like the chanting of the holy names. But inside the garland there's a thread, there's a string. So in the same way Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he has given Yuga Dharma and the chanting of the holy name. But inside there's something very special. That is this uh, mood of serving and loving Krishna in the mood of the residents of Vrindavan, Raganuga Bhakti, and especially in our line, Rupanuga Bhakti, serving the divine couple in the mood of the maidservants of Shrimati Radhika. So if we want to attain this, we shall have to hear and chant and follow all of the limbs of Bhakti, but something special will have to be there also. What is that? Tannama Rupa Charitari Sukirtanano Smitjo Kramena Manasa Rasana Manasi Niyoja Tishtam Brajay Tad Anuragi Janarugami Karan Nayada Kilamitti Padesha Saram Rupa Goswami in Upadesha Mita and Srila Prabhupada gave this book the Nectar of Instruction very early in the early days of ISKCON. He has said, The essence of all advice is that one should constantly, 24 hours a day, hear, chant, and remember the divine name, form, qualities, and pastimes of Sri Krishna. One should reside in Braj, and one should do bhajan under the guidance of a self-realized soul, of a pure devotee. Then, one will be able to attain this very rare gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which Srila Prabhupada so mercifully came here to deliver to all of us. Rupa Goswami has described the, uh, given us the very wonderful and supermost definition of pure devotional service. Anyabilashitashunyam uttama. So there's a very important word in this verse, Anu. Anu means an niranta and anugatya. Niranta means constantly and anugatya means under guidance. We shall have to practice our bhajan and sadhan constantly and under the guidance of a very qualified rasik, bhavuk and tattva vit, vaishnav or guru. And by doing so, then even though it is said that spiritual life is as sharp as a razor's edge and one can be cut at any moment, if one is doing bhajan under the guidance of any self-realized soul, then very easily he will make progress, cross over all obstacles and ultimately all of his endeavors will be crowned with success. So we're very, all very, very fortunate today to come into the Sangha of Om Vishnu Pad, Ashtotara Satari Pano Gacharya Vadya Sisimad Bhakti Rantan Narayan Goswami Maharaj who is so qualified and so competent to give us help and shelter and guidance in our bhajan so we can really uh, receive that gift which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to give for which all of our acharyas Bhakti Nautako, Bhakti Siddhanta Sazwadi Thakur and Bhakti Vedanta Swami Raj have come to give. Vancha Kalpa Tarubhastha Kripa Sinuta Patita Lampava Nudo Vaishnava Pyo Namo Namaha अपने पुत्र परिवार हर बार सबके साथ में सुखी हैं बड़े आनंद के साथ में जीवन का निर्वाह कर रहे हैं अपना वाणिज्य व्यवसाय इत्यादि कर रहे हैं सभी सुखी हैं तो फिर भगवान को भजन करने की क्या जरूरत है क्या जरूरत है बोलो ओम ज्ञान तिमिरंधस्य ज्ञानांजन शलाकय चक्षुरु नमिलितम जैन तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः वंचा कल्पत्रुभिश्च कृपा सिंधुभ्य एव च पतितानां पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः श्री गुरु महाराज हैज आस्क्ड अ क्वेश्चन दैट व्हाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट दैट एवरी one of us or each human being should do bhajan or worship God. Those who have their children, families, enough money, all material facilities, especially 
what one can think of cards, bunglers, servants, enough bank balance, so much reputation, so many followers, and many things. Is there any need for them to do bhajan? So, by the mercy of Srila Guru Maharaj, I will try to speak something in this regard. Bhajan is a Sanskrit word which means to serve God or to please God. It is prime duty of each and every living entity, the jiva, to please God. Regardless of in whatever material condition they are, be it be materially fully successful or even if they are not materially successful. Why? Because bhajan means when we please God, then we become satisfied. So this satisfaction has to do with the soul. This is not something which has to do with our body. And the facilities and any other material conditions, when we talk, we simply talk on the platform of body. So we have seen in the past also, those who had enough wealth, those who had so many children, big, big families, dynasties, what happened to them? Many big names we can think of from Puranas and Vedas, from scriptures, we hear about Ravan, Kansa, Hiranya Kashipu. They were so powerful. Even demigods and all other material, those who are governing material laws, they would work under their control. But what happened to them? They met such a disastrous end. No satisfaction. So, even in today's world also we see world at large, they are all following in their footsteps. But despite our endless endeavors for seeking happiness on this platform, we are not happy. But on the other hand, we see any person who does not even have this material sufficient material the facilities if they are performing bhajan they are very happy they are satisfied they are content krishna bhakta nishkam at shant because by pleasing krishna his all other material desires are no more existing so he is feeling satisfied he is feeling content and on the other hand even if we have material facilities or material possessions we are always worrying Oh, I have so much money. How will I spend this money? What will happen of this money? Always so much worrying and worried. So much. But if we are always connecting ourselves with Krishna or God all the time, then Krishna shows us in Bhagavad Gita that those who perform my bhajan, those who think of me, those who remember me, those who serve my devotees, I personally take care of their responsibilities. I make sure that the all material possessions are fully secured and I carry for them what they lack. We cannot do that on our own. So this full assurance which Krishna has given us is only for those living entities who are performing his bhajan. Not for anybody, not for anyone else. So this is one aspect. But another aspect is also because the question is specifically for those who are materially well, wealthy. They are not feeling any need that they should go and worship God. But if we go to them and see their life closely and we ask them, you have all these material possessions, you have a very beautiful wife, you have very nice children, those who are trying to follow you or obedient children, but are you happy? Are you satisfied? You will see, no, they are not fully satisfied and they are not fully happy. Why? Because they are still endeavoring for more satisfaction in their life. They are still endeavoring for more happiness. If they were content, if they were satisfied, why they were making so many endeavors? Why they had to make so many illegal and so many ways they have to discover to make their life more safe, secure? If they were fully secure, then there wasn't any need, but they are. They are troubled, they are bothered, they are having so much worry. Actually, Prahlad Maharaj very clearly explains in his pastime, in his shiksha, he says 
that those who have taken to this material consciousness of life, material way of life, they are always troubled and bothered with worries, all the time. Always, there is no such time that they are not worried. Why? Because this is Grihananda Kupam. This beautiful network which we have developed or which, which we have cultivated around us, we think that it is giving us full happiness or satisfaction, but actually Pallad Maharaj is saying this is dark well. So there is simply suffering and the person who has adhered himself to such a way of life is simply embarrassed all the time by anxieties and worries. There is no hope for him for rescue unless and until he gives up these things. Pallad Maharaj very strictly says, he said he should give it up and what shall he do? He should go to forest simply and what shall he do? Hari Mahashrayat. He should take shelter of the Supreme Personality of God and of Krishna. So we see those, even if they are not having material facilities, what to say of material facilities, even if they don't have all the limbs of their bodies, if they don't have ears to hear, if they don't have tongue to speak, if they cannot see nicely, if they cannot write, they are illiterate, but still if they are doing bhajan, they are more satisfied. They are more happy than a person who has such things. Those persons who are having such things, they are bewildered, they are confused, they are trying to take a position where they are helping the society, but they themselves are confused, they themselves are misdirecting, and since they are following the path of hell, everyone else following them is also embarrassed and always heading towards the hell. So it's very important that each one of us, regardless of our caste, creed, to, con to the country we belong, whether male, female, young children, or anybody or old person we must all try to serve God in our capacity whatever Krishna has provided us with, with with facilities or whatever strength we have we must try to offer it to Krishna and we can perform bhakti at all places at all circumstances under all conditions and then by seeing our endeavor just by seeing our desire Krishna says Maya Nukule when the living entity simply desires that oh I should worship Krishna. I should worship God. I am his part and parcel. I belong to him. Why I am suffering so much? This human life is not meant for simply sense gratification. I should try to know who am I? Where I have come from? Simply by having these desires when it generates in our heart, Krishna makes all the arrangement for us. He will send wonderful, self-realized, beautiful sadhus who speak such a nice sweet Harikatha that it penetrates through our in our heart and clears away all the doubts all the doubts regarding who am I, where I have come from, what is this world for, and not just this basic information of soul, but they also reveal to us the higher, melodious, and so beautiful, uh, absolute truth, which has so much nice and attractive pastimes of Krishna, his intimate pastimes, by which we can actually achieve eternal happiness, eternal ananda, and we can serve the Lord in His abode eternally. So it's very important that each one of us must perform bhajan to whatever capacity we have. And then Krishna will make all the arrangement for us to take us back home, back to God. Hare Krishna. Now in Krishna Brahmachari may speak something about this. Very question. You can see this. Ponga Gana Timiranda Sagananjana Salakaya Chakchurun Miritangina Tasma is Rigurabi Namaha Banchakal Batarubas Chakripas and Dubai Vacha Patitan and Pavanid Bo Vishnavi Bo Namaha. So you have heard the answer of this question from Sipad Pundari Prabhu. Who have ordered me to answer this question in brief. So I shall try at my best to answer this question. So we are happy in this world. How materially happy? We have so much wealth, we have beautiful wife and kids. So why we shall need to do bhajan? You know. Sri Krishna addressing Arjun, instruct all world 
that we are not this physical body. We are telling I am owner of this property, I am king, I am manager, I am general manager, who am I? We are telling I am this, I am this, I am that. But we have to know who am I, why I feel these three torments, I don't know what is lead to my ultimate goal. In Srimad Bhagavatam, there is one Upakhan, I want to narrate this Upakhan. When Hiranyaksha killed by Barahadev, then Hiranyakashipu is consoling the whole family members. Don't worry, why are you weeping so much? It's not this physical body, you are soul. But no one has listened to him. Everybody is weeping so loudly, lamenting for king, for Hiranyakashipu. Then John Maharaj, in form of five years old boy, came in naked form and asked, Why you are weeping so loudly? Why you are lamenting so much? They told that he has gone. Well, he has gone. Where he has gone? Just like he has gone America, he has gone Great Britain, he has gone France. He will return after two days, after one week, after two months. So when he will return? Oh, you are a quite a little boy, you can understand. Well, no, I can understand more than any one of you. So please tell me, where he had gone and where he will return? He is sleeping here, why are you weeping so much? Oh, no, no. Who was in this body? That means soul, he went away from his body. Oh. Soul has gone. Have you seen about that soul? What is his color? What is his uh, beauty? What is his form? What kind he ate? He take meal? What? How long? How fat? How fatty? Have you seen? Oh, no, no, never. If you not, never seen him, why you are lamenting so much for him? So we have to know we are not this physical body. So we are beyond of this physical body. Beyond of this physical body, there is another thing, subtle body. This is called mind, mon, buddhi, ankar, mind, intelligent and false ego. So we are not this physical body, either physical body or subtle body. We are beyond all of all these things. That means soul. Soul is part and parcel of Supreme God. So which we are doing at present with bank balance, with so many good relations, with so many kids and beautiful wife. This is my physical body. The, my wife kills me, loves me so much. For this? For who? For the physical body? No, never. If you have no soul, soul cannot prevent you or you will go away from your body, then your wife will ask another relative, oh, please take him away immediately. Otherwise, it will get rotten, so many worms will come, ghost may come. I don't like, please take it away that is, as soon as possible. <laughs> so one hour before, she loves you so much. Now she is telling, take him away from me immediately, otherwise ghost may come. So we have to know we are not this physical body, we are soul. And the soul is part and parcel of Supreme God. So if you not serve God, then we never be eternally happy. Just like today, Gurudev give one example to Mr. Kapoor, that if we throw one stone, it will come down to earth. Why? Is it law of gravitation discovered by Sir Isaac Newton? It was from limit, uh, limitless time. Only Sir Isaac Newton give the one language and learning English language. It was as before. But if we pull one balloon of gas, it will not come down to earth. If we flame a lamp, it will not come down towards earth. Where it will go? It will go towards sky. Why so? The stone is part of earth and the lamp is part of sun and that balloon, that pull of gas is part of air. And if we drop one drop of water here, where it will go? It will go towards ocean. Why? That drop of water is part of ocean. So if we not mixed with our whole thing, we never be happy. 
how will mix with that whole thing will be merged in that milk will be one and that is not possible just like we are about 50 percent mixed with gurudev will not being one we have all we have separate existence so we shall mix god how that is four regulative principle there is so many currents mood of servitor mood and mood of friendship mood of parental mood mood of paramar with this mood we shall so going uh, heavenly planet that means galak vrindavan he shall serve god then he will be eternally happy and we can get peace and tranquility of mind otherwise not possible so we have to know we are not this physical body we are not this mind intelligent and false of a subtle body we are beyond all of all these things knowing everything we have to send that our celebrity with our bona fide gurudev who is a expert then we can know all these things and can achieve this peace and tranquility of mind and serve god eternally hare krishna pancha karbat re bas te kripa sundar bhai bacha paitanang pavane bho krishna re bho namo namo अज्ञानतिरांधश ज्ञानंजनश्लाक चक्षुन मिलत जैन तस्म श्रीगुरव वंचाकुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो महाबदन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण चंदे गौरतिशे गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल या फरमाई लैक्स एंड लैक्स दंडत प्रणाम अंत द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर नित्य लीला ओम विष्णु पास स्मृत भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सौभाग्य and then to my shiksha guru nitya lila pravishtong vishnu parshi sunat bhakti vedanta swami i treat him i honor him like my shiksha guru i know him from 1946 my guru he has so much honor for his elder go guru bro, go, god brother from begani from 1922 he took initiation hari naam from swami swami ji from his inspiritual master nitya lila prabhu vishnu parshi sun bhakti siddhan saraswati goswami thakur और गुरु महाराज टू के इनिशिएशन इन दर नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन सो दे आर बहुत लाइफ फ्रेंड्स सो आई हैव सो मच चांस टू सर्व हिम इन ऑल वेज एंड देर वॉज नॉट एस्कॉन आर एनी थिंग फ्रॉम देन आई नो आई एम ऑल्सो फॉर्चुनेट टू सर्व and to hear all the prominent very learned very qualified the senior most devotees of shri bhakti siddhan saraswati goswami thakur like nemi maharaj like shauti maharaj shri pujapati sidhar maharaj पूजपात वन महाराज आश्रम महाराज गिरी महाराज पूजपात गिरी महाराज भारती महाराज और भारती महाराज सिद्धांती महाराज भक्ति पूरी महाराज 
all so many. <laughs> so I think I am so fortunate to serve them. Shaman eh? Maharaj, all. Hmm. So I have. Eh? Oh. oh, very good. He used to love me so much. So much. So, I know the modes of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Srila Rupa Goswami Maharaj. I also served Swamiji and he told at that time that you should come with me in preaching in Western countries. But at that time he could not come. But I think that he has dragged me, taking my this choti <laughs> here, that you should come and propagate because I had given some seeds in the hearts of devotees. In devotees' hearts, somewhere, it was some sprouted. Somewhere, some leaves came. But now, everything is drying. No water. Now, uh, sprouts are going drying, leaves are going drying, trees are, is going to be ruined. So you should come back. What rise all these things? Perhaps by His mercy, I am coming. I was a very penniless person. Swamiji came here in all these countries. He was also penniless. And he came in a navigation, Sindhya, <laughs> in Mali, Jahaj me hai. <laughs> and in sheep he came. And he came perhaps in four months or I don't know how many. And he arranged me, oh, you should come not by sheep, you should come in aeroplane. I am managing. I told that I have no money. Oh, don't. Worry for this and he is managing everything. I am coming to give. Only to give some water that I have heard from our Acharjas, my Gurudev and all these Vaishnavas. <coughs> I am happy that uh, now in India, especially in Puri Dham, Rath festival is going on, card festival, Rath Yatra. And lakhs and lakhs, more than 20 lakhs of devotees are assembled there. And they are doing Jagannath ki jai, Subhadra Devi ki jai, Baladev Prabhu ki jai. All are doing and they are pulling, pulling the card. Hmm? Why this? You should know that we are part and parcels of God, Supreme Personality of God. He is so merciful. And we are part and parcel, that is why we want happiness. Whenever we want any suffering, if any money is so rich, so much rich, hence of qualified daughter and sons, so much affluence, he may be the president or prime minister or any rich person, maybe. But oldness is about to come. He will be bold on one day. And even beauty will go away. And you cannot digest water even in old days. No fruit juice. I am happy to know that Vindaban Prabhu has a big factory for juice and he is supplying in all islands here. But at that time, in old days, 
they cannot digest that juice also <laughs> doctor should be called oh i have taken i had taken juice but now very restless huh? hmm? then it may be that you will have to be operated ordnance is bound to come all bit will go hmm? the cheeks will be dry teeth will be going away it is bound so in this world any and at last will have to give up this body so in this world anyone is not happy happy very for for a few days but that happiness is also like that like suffering so in this world anyone is not happy because we have forgotten supreme personality of god head but he is so merciful he is always very that my all parts souls have forgotten me i want that they should come and again they should be happy forever eternal happy i want that i should have any clue to bring to me but they are so much engaged in sense gratifications that not any moment time to come to me and to think all these things never so krishna the supreme personality of godhead he comes descends to this world sometimes he manifests like ram nishingha kalki baman bara like all and sometimes he sends up much powerful his associates like guru or acharj like narad like brahma like byas like sukadev goswami madha ramanuj vishnu swami nimbadit like uh, uh, bal ballabha acharj and sometimes he descend himself also like krishna baladev like chaitanya mahaprabhu hmm? so only to make us happy in the, this world is like a prison prison no in prison we can demand so many things facilities but this is a not a place to taste and to be happy we should try to come out of prison so this world is prison we are forgotten and now as a punishment we have come to this world this is not a place to be happy so krishna descends and his associates also descends to this world for the same purpose so <coughs> chaitanya mahaprabhu or krishna they came the associates of chaitanya mahaprabhu like rup goshami sanatan goshami like associates of krishna himself narad and sukadev goshami all came to this world and told the same thing same thing that we are part and parcel of supreme personality of god head in this world we cannot be happy prahlad maharaj has told like that that if we are in this world for 100 years 50 years 50 years will go in sleeping matting and doing so many nonsense things or sleeping and then 20 years from boyhood playing here there and to be expert in anything to ma- maintain life we have no chance to remember him and the last 20 years from 80 to 100 we are so old that we cannot do anything 
even we cannot sit like this very hard and if anything operation or anything then nothing to tell so 20 at 20 and 50 90 and in 90 uh, in 10 years you will have to marry to build very comfortable houses <coughs> so many things to support children then when you will have time to remember Krishna impossible so from beginning we should try to remember chant and sing Krishna very beginning that is how Pradhat Maharaj has told all these things. That is in Srimad Bhagavatam. <coughs> so Bhakti Minot Thakur is the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or Krishna. He is the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the shape of Bhakti Minot Thakur. And in the shape of Kamal Manjari, he is the associates of Radha and Krishna. He has told one line, very important. Hmm? What is that? Hmm? What is that? That we should not take any secret or anything here. Perhaps he is taking? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Camera. <laughs> I was fearing that it is secret or anything. It's a camera. What was Krishna Sansar Kara Chari Anacha Jive Daya Name Ruchi Sarbat Dharma Sha. Have you read this line? He is telling Krishna Sansar Kara. In this world, we are bound to do to have family hmm, and associates with association with others. So we can maintain our life, otherwise not. We cannot be by, without air. We cannot be here in without water. We cannot be without sun rays. Oh, it is essential. So Krishna Sansar Karo Chari Anachar. You should try to give up all your what, bad, unwanted habits. First, give up all kinds of your chest, your envy, all bad, unwanted things. And then Krishna Sansar Karo. You can have a wife, very chaste wife, and both together serving Krishna. Children may be there, they are also part and parcels of Krishna. We can support and nourish them also. So that our whole family should worship Krishna. This is Krishna Sanshar. Our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made a very big family being in Puri, thousands and lakhs and lakhs of children, many devotees, like Sarupa Dhamoda, Raya Ramananda, Raghunath Das Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Haridas Thakur, all are in his family, maintaining them by love and affection. So Bhakti Mino Thakur is telling here, Krishna Sansar Karo Chari Anachar Jive Dayak Name Ruchi Sarva Dharmasa. In Kaliju, we cannot have what? Samadhi Saukar ke Bhagavan ki Aradhana nahi kar sakta. Meditation. Meditation. Very hard. We cannot do Archan. Very hard. We cannot remember, meditate. We cannot do sacrifices like in Tretaju that Ramachandra or so many were doing. We cannot do it. In Kaljug, 
our life is so short, full of so many sufferings. Hmm? So, he is telling, very easy, name ruchi, all by chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, If you cannot do so big mantra, you can chant, Radhe Krishna, Radhe Krishna, Radhe Shyam. Oh, Ram 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 Ram, Krishna Krishna, no harm. Any name you like, you can do. 